ICD-10-CM JJ-10B Guidelines, page 47, part 11. Section 2 includes guidelines for sex selection of principal diagnosis for non-outpatient settings. Okay. Section 3 includes guidelines for reporting additional diagnoses in non-outpatient settings. Non-outpatient settings means inpatient. Because it's not outpatient, it means it's inpatient, right? Okay, section four. Section four is for outpatient coding and reporting. And section four is for outpatients. It means that the, that the patient goes to the hospital and then comes back home to sleep. It doesn't stay all night. Okay? It is necessary to review all sections of the guidelines to fully understand all the rules and instructions needed to code properly. Okay? So we're going to... Uh, read a little bit of that graph there. Okay, ICD-10-CM coding guidelines. The section one is structure and conventions of classification. General guidelines that apply to entire classification and chapter specific guidelines that corresponds to chapters as a range in classification. That's the section one, right? The section two is selection of principal diagnosis for non-outpatient settings. If, if you have inpatient settings or non-outpatient settings, you go to Section 2 for the selection of the principal diagnosis. The Section 3 is... Reporting additional diagnoses in non-outpatient settings. Also for inpatients, but that's for additional diagnoses. And the Section 4 is... Outpatient coding and reporting. Outpatient coding and reporting. And the other, the other graph is just to remember that you always follow the guidelines, okay? All right, okay, that's our little theory for today. Now we're going to do the exercise. Ready, set, go. Okay, uh, the code for the exercise is ICD-10JJ-10A-363-07, exercise 07, page 363, exercise 07, and this is a level one exercise, and it reads like this. Accessory fifth digit, right foot. Accessory, fifth digit, right foot. Since this is the foot is a fifth toe, right? Uh, accessory, fifth toe, which means it has an additional toe. Okay. Uh, we're going to count to three so you can pause the video and give us the ICD-10 code for accessory, fifth digit, right foot. One, two, three. Okay, the answer is Q69.2. All right. If you got that, congratulations. Just go to the next video. If you didn't get it, let's give you a tip. The tip that we have is? Start with accessory. Okay, another word for accessory digit is? Polydactyly. Polydactyly. Poly means a lot, right? Yes. And dactyly means fingers or toes, right? Yes. Keep reading. It only? It only means more than five fingers or toes. More than five fingers or toes. Accessory is the? Extra finger or toe. Extra finger or toe. So the problem is that the patient has one extra finger or, or toe in this case because it's the right foot, right? So now that you understand what the problem is, uh, you can find the path, right? You know the answer already is Q69.2, but now we're going to count to three so you can pause the video and give us the path to the answer, okay? One, two, three. Okay, the summary of the whole problem is like this. Accessory, fifth digit, right foot. There's only one code, and the code one through the index is found like this. First you go to index. Go to the index. Then you go to accessory. You start with accessory, and then you go to? Toes. Toes, and you get what? Q69.2. Q69.2. Now we're going to check this in the tabular. So the code one through the tabular is found like this. First you go to tabular. Go to the tabular. Then you go to Q69. You start with the first three characters, which is Q69. And what is that? Polydactyly. Polydactyly, which means more than five fingers or toes, right? Right. We're on the right path. Then uh, one more character, which would be? Q69.2. And what is that? Accessory toe. Or toes, toes right? Yes. If you have one more toe or two more toes, that means you got to use this code. That's why we have that equal sign, which means that the answer is Q69.2. Okay, we have double-checked that, and uh, we finish this video by inviting you to visit our website, and also... And also, you can subscribe to us on YouTube by clicking here for our new medical coding videos. All right, you just click on the red rectangle that says subscribe, 
and you get uh, an email every time that we upload the videos. And what are, are we doing every day? You will get up to three videos every day that we make up of. All right. There's ICD-10s, there are CPTs, all that is needed to pass the medical coding certification exams. All right. All you have to do is just visit our website or subs and subscribe to our videos, okay? Thank you and goodbye. Goodbye.